Oh, sorry, Jamie. Leo Scully in the referee for this match. Good to see Leo back. We've seen him in the last few months. He's come back from very serious illness in the last two or three seasons. Nice to see him back officiating. Oh, a little flick on the green is very handy. Otherwise, I don't think he's on a ball. It's a good pop. the worst outcome. I mean, he's not on a red at, at all Four. with the black there. Well, I don't know if that red will pass the black. I mean, Ronnie had a, a red at a similar angle, albeit nearer to the pocket, which he thought didn't pass it. So it's going to have to be a safety shot, I think. Jimmy White, four. A rather edgy start, but of course these two, you know, legends of the game, but not immune to all the talk around the match and the build-up as well. I guess they want to put on a show, but snooker's a tough game. And Ronnie's hardly played a shot as he meant to so far. Even that shot hitting the jaws of the middle bag, almost every shot has been so unlike him. Again. <coughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? You just can't even get a shot right. Uh, it's, it's quite incredible. It's never really unlucky when you hit the jaws of the middle pocket and the cue ball comes back because it's clearly a misjudgment. day of these nominations events Thursday with two matches in a day the round of 32 followed by the round of 16 tonight we go from what's been a very big field the last few days we started with one two eight and then by the end of this evening eight will remain another shot that's oh, not gone miss. to plan Jimmy about a couple of centimeters short of the bunch in a minute he'll play one that uh, he'll be pleased with, I'm sure. Is that right? Yeah, right. Going to play the same shot anyway, so it probably doesn't matter that much if they're fractionally out. Going to try and play it better though, and he has.
foul and a miss. Jimmy White. I'm not making excuses for Ronnie O'Sullivan, but I think that the fact that he's got a new tip uh, and uh, with half an hour practice with it, he's um, just struggling. Struggling to find any range. All the shots are different. Any snooker player watching would, would know that you need more than half an hour, but these things happen. And these reds converging over the black, it, it make you wonder whether it might end up not a stalemate for sure, but certainly a fairly a cautious start to the match. Because often when you see this, the reds get closer and closer to the black. There's something else to give. There's no other shots and to keep chipping reds towards it. Really nice safety shot. There is an edge though that Ronnie can get to. Again, chipping a red towards that right corner. He likes that draw, that middle bag on the other side, doesn't he? It's hit about four times so far. Well, the the red that he might play here is kind of directly towards the black. He could chip it in if he isn't careful on this. Does he hit it thicker or thinner than the what would be the, effectively the potting angle? He's playing a different shot. I understand why. Well, this is a good one. Whipping the cue around the angles. That's a very fine safety shot from Jimmy White. Well, so far it's been a bit more Charlton Griffiths than O'Sullivan White, this. <coughs> Obviously the black going near the corner hasn't helped. here with left hand side to find a thin edge that's a good comeback from Jimmy <laughs> well we kind of would predict this might happen not before the match I might add just during when the black went safe I'm only trying to stop something I'm turning into a stalemate there but, uh, he's played a good shot Anyway, it's not quite a snook, but the black is now away from there, so that might change things. I don't know if there's any sort of a plant in there, about seven ball plant or something, but I don't think they're quite lined up, those cluster of reds on the right of the table. This is also a good shot. I still see an escape. And down from the pink on the right. They'll play. Swinging the cue ball back up to Bog. Well, Ronnie, I think, was getting a little fed up with that whole stalemate situation and has taken a gamble. I think. Has he left the red on? It must be a tight one, Jimmy, looking down the line of the shot.
No, as you can see, not even with a little bit of swerve can he get to that. As he really bent down on it, actually, maybe he is playing it with a lot of right-hand side. Well, he could get to it with a swerve. That was a great shot. It was a big swerve. That's a fine shot. As long as you get past the green and play it slowly enough, the side has time to react. to get the reds open. I wonder if he's on the one he's close to. Eleven. It was a very difficult shot to play, goodness. But the table was pretty difficult to make anything happen with as well. I mean, 24 points deficit. Why? Let's see how he goes about this. The Reds are really tightly bunched and he has to play a, some shot to just free them all. But it's not happening here. up into the top left but he's on the black anyway how do you play this drag it in or try to swing the cue around the angles well there's a new tip shot again I want to keep on about this but you hit them thick those shots they just push left hand side and it goes to the right and uh, it's too much of the black it'll be on only on Sullivan's mind I can tell you Yes, if he starts to lose confidence in his queuing, then he could have problems. Highest break so far in this match, 11. One. I mean, those reds, six reds there, all in the, in the line, it's unbelievable. How on earth do you get those in play? It's not really a very good angle on the blue to do so either. A bit thin. Jimmy Hoyt, one. Jimmy put in a quick one there. Didn't really bring the cue back as he would hope. But look again, there's just nothing.